What's up, peeps? Put a little red in the hair today just to give it a little more color. The corner of my mouth is cracked and it really hurts. But, um, getting ready to fry up some homemade buffalo chicken wings. I've been eating those a lot lately. But, good protein, so you'll see. Hmm, and y'all wonder why I don't make cooking videos anymore. We just walked in the door. And my mother thinks it's a good idea to go heat up a $1 banquet freaking frozen pot pie meal. Sorry, y'all. I am literally picking skin off my feet. I'm not lying. Whatever they put in the nail polish thing is making my hands and my nails peel like crazy. It's that gel quick dry. Anyway, moving on. If I tell you I'm getting ready to make a bunch of buffalo wings... Fried chicken wings. You can eat them plain if you want to. I always put the sauce on the side. Why the hell are you going to heat up a $1 chicken pot pie meal and then pick all the meat out of the chicken pot pie meal? And you ain't no vegetarian. This is my mother. On the daily. Anyway, I got the grease in the kitchen on high right now because I'm trying to get a whole pot with like that much grease in it. Heat it up quickly. It took me over an hour to cook the chicken wings the other day. They were massive. So today I have flats and drumettes. <laughs> the right ones to use. I only had half and half the other day. The big wings took forever. Uh, number one son should be home in a, anywhere in the next hour or two. I know he likes buffalo wings, but look, I know y'all think I'm lying. I'm, I'm going to come in here right now. Watch my mother in the kitchen. She just ate two hours ago. Mm -hmm. Mm -mm. What's the matter, Roro? You're looking all sad. What's wrong? Mm -hmm. Come here. Here's that big boy. Get up. Get up. You can't see anything, y'all. What I'm saying, y'all. Anyway, so I haven't made a cooking video in a long while, it feels like. But I got two packs of flats and drumettes, and I apologize for not using the tripod or anything fancy because everything is everywhere. Another story for a different day. Let's see what it says flats and drummets. Somewhere on there it says it. Oh, at the bottom. I don't know how to use your camera, Jen. For some reason, when I film, everything is reversed, so you guys are seeing it backwards, but I promise you that's what it said. So, I've got a... Uh, she's just going to continue to ramble in the background. Anyway, I'm waiting on this grease that I have on high, as you can see. Not ready yet. I'm starting to bubble. And I'm going to season this chicken with some salt, pepper, a little bit of garlic powder, and onion flakes. So I'm going to let it marinate for a few minutes. And then I might have to turn that heat down so that way the grease isn't ready to go before the chicken's ready to go. So we also had to go by the phone store because I didn't understand why after two brand new SD cards, 128 gigs, I understand it ain't the most, but still, it's what I could do, that they decided, or this phone decided, it wasn't going to recognize any of them. So this is twice that we've been there, and finally the guy got it to where my memory is freed up for enough for me to make videos. That's why I have not been posting because I would film, and then it would tell me you don't have enough video after I edit or enough memory, I'm sorry, after I edit, so that nothing could be uploaded. Yeah, I'm not using the tripod. I didn't break out any of the fancy stuff, so I am ducking down like an idiot right now. And I got two trays of dead bird parts. I hate cooking with raw meats. So, let me season these up. I'll be back. All right, duck down video again. It's 
very simple, y'all. I'm going with the uh, Himalayan pink salt grinder because that's healthier for you than iodized regular salt from what I hear. And I love the peppercorns. When they're freshly ground, you can change your setting for how big you want the pieces. I usually go in the middle. And gonna do some minced onion flakes because all of the juice that comes off here in the grease will soak that right in. It's no problem. I usually put a little bit of garlic powder. I'll probably do that, but I might wait till after they're fried and before I put on the sauce, which basically use butter, margarine, and hot sauce to taste. <laughs> However hot you want it. So it's just enough to baste it. You don't need to soak it like it's a soup. So I'm going to show y'all real quick. I know you guys can't really see this, but you don't need to see me. I'm going to try to balance this because I didn't bring my tripod. So I'm sorry. I'm going to sprinkle on the pepper. Nice thing about a grinder is just go back and forth. Grind it up. Okay. And I honestly don't have to do both sides. I usually do. But I'm going to wait until I season everything. So this is the minced onions. Basically they're like onion flakes instead of using onion powder. Working with two, two trays here. I'm sorry if y'all can't see me. You know what I look like. And then a little bit of salt, not much, because most of your food and your meats and your sauces have a lot of salt in them. And I already have high blood pressure, so I don't need any more. All right, so that's done. I lost a cap. Here we go. Put that one back on. And basically, it doesn't look any fancier than that. And someone is calling me, so I gotta stop the video for a second, y'all. Sorry. So sorry, that was someone checking on my car warranty to make sure it was still okay. Everybody's getting those calls. I just wish they would ban them from even being able to call you or say that. It's stupid. Alright, I apologize, y'all. Anyway, I was getting back to salt, pepper, some garlic, powder, minced onions. I like to use the minced onions on burgers and chicken and different meats. I will use onion powder on like sauces and things, but what are you doing, Ro? Anyway, so I'm going to season these up. They're, well, they're seasoned up, but I'm going to let them sit for a minute. And I did lower the temperature on the grease, so I'm going to throw them in in a few minutes. I just want the salt and pepper and everything to kind of stick for a little bit. One hour instant. Mm -hmm. Roro, what's wrong? Mastiff Cam. What the matter? Your face is messy. What did you just eat? Yeah, you're a mess. Look at your face. You gotta fix your face, man. <laughs> He's silly. Ooh, that's hurt. I just threw in the first set of wings, which is about 12. I got the other tray here. The oil has gone way up from down here all the way to the top. So I'm trying to go slowly. But that hurt. It just burnt my finger right here in the middle. So right, used to be a firefighter, I could deal with it. I'll cry off camera. Anyway, I'm just trying to throw in the last few bits around here. Thankfully, these are not frozen. It has been very hard to find fresh frozen flats and drumettes. Because that's what I'm cooking right now. Which if you're making wings, that's what it should be about. 
I know a lot of people just boil them and throw them into... Oh my god, if my mother doesn't stop harassing this dog. Um, a lot of people just throw them into the boiling water and then you have cooked wings, but they're soggy wings. And I appreciate a little bit of crunchiness when I eat my wings. So, it might just be my preference, but... Tis what it is. If you go to Buffalo Wild Wings, just tell them you want to make some crispy. They'll do it for you. Mm -mm. Going to hell, y'all. Yeah. <laughs>